What positive effects has the quarantine had for you? My company, who had a firm no working from home policy, has finally seen how well everyone is doing while working from home and have talked about loosening restrictions post virus. I have started working out. My wife has breast cancer, was pretty aggressive. Was diagnosed back in August and finished chemo towards the beginning of the year. She has since undergone a few big surgeries, mastectomy slash plastic slash lipo slash hysterectomy, and recovery since the quarantine started. I'm a school teacher, and had I been in school, I would have had to take a big pay cut, due to only having 4 sick days a year, gone on long term from lab, or quit. With the shutdown, I've been able to be there for her, tell her how beautiful she is every day, cook slash clean, make sure kids are fed slash active slash engaged in activities slash keep myself sane and others. The quarantine could not have come at a better time, and for all the hurt and death it is causing, our highly immunosurpressed family has been able to hold everything together through this. Thank you for your question, I really enjoyed reading all of these. It forced me to change my business from catering big parties to serving carry out dinners a few at a time. I made a decent living from catering, sure, but I'm making an absolute killing on these dinners and now I even get to take weekends off. Plus whenever large parties become a thing again, I will have introduced myself and my product to several hundred potential clients with a marketing expenditure of $7, the cost of the sign I put by the side of the road that simply says dinner. I've had a consistent exercise schedule. It's helped a bit with keeping my mood stable. Oh man. So many positives. I bartend in a restaurant, so I've been laid off and collecting unemployment and it's more money than I make in a week. I paid off my credit card debt, my carpal tunnel has healed, I have been drinking significantly less, quit smoking, I've been cooking more. Saving money by not going out, I have a regular sleep schedule, I've been reading more, I've lost weight, I don't wear Mac you anymore and my skin cleared up, I got a puppy, and I've had all the time I need to train him, and so much more, this run on sentence could go on for hours. I think the best thing is realizing, how important it is to make the most of time away from work and to establish a routine, that doesn't revolve around a job. Loving not having the commute. I can wake up 5 minutes before work starts and I'm fine. And at 5 o'clock I'm instantly home. I've saved some money, I've had time to work on my hobbies, I've spent quality time with my husband, and I have actually gotten closer with a couple of friends and colleagues as we all support each other through this. Trying hard to look at the positives, because the negative of my anxiety spiraling out of control is unbearable some days. Been saving a ton of money. I'm still not convinced it's positive, but I've probably gained about 10 pounds and have not made myself throw up since March 19th, the longest stretch I've gone in about 10 years. My body feels so different, and it feels like I have curves in pants that fell off my hips just a few months ago, terrified yet kinda proud of my new butt. Edit, OMG thank you all so much, I've been so secretive and ashamed of my eating disorder for so long your support has me legit in tears. 4 exams in a little more than 1 month. I've only the thesis left, and managed to get to one of my dream universities. I'm finally not exhausted. I've slept better than I have in years. I'm broke af, but at least I'm sleeping. LOL. I lost some weight, because I wake up late every day and only eat two meals a day. I've had time to learn more about myself. I'm in recovery from alcohol, abuse so after years of numbing myself, I've been relearning how different emotions feel, and how I react to those emotions in a safe environment. I stopped smoking. I stopped drinking every day. Now I drink once a week. Will have to quit, after I run out of alcohol. Started exercising, as being out of breath keeps the nicotine pangs away. 
I learned how to play dominoes, make mashed potatoes, and cook ribs. All of which I thought would be hard, but we are actually ridiculously easy. I've gotten to spend a lot of time with my aging dog. I backquote there stopped wearing Macup and have become super confident in my natural appearance. I'm 30 years old and can only recall going barefaced a handful of times in the last 15 years. My skin looks seriously amazing, and frankly, the full gamut of war paint made me look older than I realized. I think after quarantine, I'll still wear Macup on certain special occasions, but it won't be on the daily, nor as a compulsive, I can't leave the house without my face cause I look like a troll necessity. I don't feel compelled to do any social activities, or cut my hair, two things that I normally feel, like I have to do. But with isolation dictating those things, I finally feel free, while bound at home. I still have to go to work, as I'm in healthcare, but the traffic and parking spots have never been better. Decided to paint again. Quit smoking. I was burnt out at work, and with being social all the time. So spending quality time with myself has been great. On top of that, not having time to myself resulted in me not cooking my own meals and I've gained a bit of weight in the last year. I've been cooking my own healthy meals and going out for long bike rides. No idea if I have lost weight I get obsessive over the scale. I have been living in sweats and leggings the last few years and decided it was time to put effort in how I look. I started learning about how fashion works and sold slash donated some of my clothes. My room was depression messy, and I cleaned it right after my work shut down, and have kept it clean since. <laughs> Suffering from bipolar second. The boredom pushed me to clean my room, do the laundry every week and fold it. It may not sound much, but for a person who hated doing chores, it really changed me. Also, my girlfriend and I have a deeper bond and understanding of each other. It's amazing what boredom can do. The housing, mostly flipper and airbnb, market has slowed down enough that I might finally be able to buy a house. Even with the slow it's still a tight effing squeeze. I've been waiting 6 years. My mum doesn't have to wake up at 5am and come home at 5pm anymore. Her face doesn't look like she wants to give up on life anymore. Got a lot of small jobs around the house, done I've been meaning to get to a Happier. I love being stuck at home. I ended up quarantining with my boyfriend at his apartment after possibly being exposed, so I wouldn't put my high risk parents in danger. We decided to move in together for real, have both been working from home, and saving up money, and are looking at the possibility of buying a house. I'm not sure we would have been able to take these steps in our relationship without quarantine. Also the new hours I've been working have given me the time to see a doctor about a long-standing condition that I'm finally receiving treatment for and going to be going through surgery soon to hopefully fix it. Again, I don't think I would have taken this step if quarantine hadn't made it possible. Making my 16 years off proud. I have always been a heavy gamer. When I was 16, had time but no money then started working and having money to buy a decent PC, but no time. Quarantine allowed me to play all the games I hadn't in the last years. Also went back to learning German. Been mostly good for me so far. I feel awful even saying it but. I work in software, so my job and productivity didn't change one iota. It took me about an hour one way to get into the office, and I'd usually buy a lunch instead of make one, though lord knows I tried. I even subbed to slash r slash meal preps and a without ever actually prepping anything, that counts doesn't it? Being home, I do cook a lot more though. My son is also not in daycare, which was costing me like $170 a week. No more gas plus no more going out, 
to eat plus no more daker plus no more and am I'm tired and don't feel like cooking. Let's just go out equals thousands of dollars appearing into the savings account, seemingly overnight. I've been going on daily walks in wooded areas, noticing things in nature I'd never paid attention to before. Due to my job and the hours I work, I spend most of my time alone. There are days when the only people I see are the person who worked before me and the one who works after me. But now my roommates work from home and I actually have people to talk to and be around. I feel like it's been good for my mental health. I'm one of those people who started to do their balcony. Three years in a row my balcony was dirty and without any plants. Now I cleaned up and put up some plants and it starts to look really nice. It made it feel right for me to be by myself. I haven't worked since March 16th and now I'm a couple weeks away from finishing my first novel. Great you made it to the end, now smash that like button and subscribe for even more videos like this one.